Hello, brains. I did the research. Ah! Fidgeting is actually good. <laughs> so I can't sit still and all my life I've been told to. Stop looking at your phone, stop playing with your toys, just sit down and eat, just sit down and study. Stop fidgeting and focus. Teachers, friends, anytime that somebody assumes that you're not paying attention because you're fidgeting, the opposite is probably true. If you weren't fidgeting, you wouldn't be able to pay attention to them. Why do we fidget? Turns out fidgeting isn't just a symptom of ADHD that needs to be controlled, it's a coping mechanism. So how does fidgeting actually help? Okay, so ADHD or not, we all have this thing called floating attention. And that's basically that whenever we're paying attention to one thing, we have a little bit that's trying to see what's going on around us. And that evolved to keep us safe. If I'm out picking berries in the jungle, are there berries in the jungle? <laughs> Most of our attention is on the berries, but there's a little bit of attention that's floating elsewhere just to make sure that there's not a lion in the bushes that's about to eat us. Basically, as people with ADHD, we don't have a filter for our floating attention, so we get distracted pretty easily. We don't just notice the lion in the bushes. We notice the person picking berries next to us. We notice that we don't have enough berries yet. We notice that the sun is getting really hot, and we notice that the ground is really dirty. We notice everything. That's why we need fidget toys. Fidget toys are something that you probably already use without even knowing it. Anything you fiddle with while you're focusing on something else. That would include your phone, although that's considered rude, bracelets that you play with, pens that you click on and off, any rubber band that you wrap around your finger, even playing with your split ends. Sorry hairdresser, sorry it makes your job harder. It's helping me focus. By giving your brain a mindless activity, like a fidget toy to play with, you're saying, hey, floating attention, I see you and I'm gonna give you a job. This is your job. The truth is, a lot of the things that we use to fidget are really distracting to other people. So our job is to find fidget toys that work for us and don't distract anybody else. You wanna use a sense that you're not using in your primary task. If you're studying, it might be helpful to listen to music. If you're watching TV, it might be helpful to fidget with something with your hands. Hello. This is a tangle. You can wrap this one around your finger. You can pull it apart, although it is much easier to pull apart than it is to put back together. Okay, there you go. This is a boink. It's got like a little marble in here. This one's great because it's quiet. There are stress balls. You just squeeze them. Quack, 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 quack. Brain. Ah! I already broke this one. The Fidget pod. This is something that you can put on your desk while you're working and you can kind of run your palm over it or I'm going to set it right down on the floor and run my foot over it. That's a good one if you need both your hands for taping. I feel like if you read with the fidget pod on your face, you probably won't fall asleep. Probably. This is called the ultimate fidget toy. The way this one works is you flip it like this. So that's what fidgeting is. It's not a problem, it's a solution. And if anybody gives you any trouble about it, send them this video. I've put links below where you can find the ones that I've tried today. Let me know what you think. Hit me up on Facebook or Twitter. Let me know what topics are important to you that I should talk about in the future. And until then, bye brains.